Okay, tank's all set up, so we at least have everything rolling with that. Uh, we're gonna go with some sand this time. Last time we used a gravel substrate instead, so. Uh, I, I think that this is gonna work really well. Planning on running some uh, geophagus, angelfish at least, because I'm actually probably gonna breed angelfish and for sure gonna be doing the uh, silver dollars. So um, this is the tank, this is the setup. We're gonna head over to MQ Aquatics. Uh, it's somebody who's local, not too far away. Um, I'm gonna take my daughter over there with me. So we'll see what they got. I can put maybe one, two fish in here just to get everything rolling. If they have some silver dollars, I already know I'm gonna have those. So um, we're gonna get that going. So let's go check it out. All right guys, so we're in the truck right now. We got Vivian in the back seat hanging out with us. So we're heading on over to MQ Aquatics right now. That's one of the, the local fish stores for Houston. Uh, nice place, for, you know, it's it's uh, it's kind of new. It, technically, it, it's been there for a while because it actually used to be Fish R Us, which, which was a, a staple for the Conroe, North Houston area, spring area. Uh, fish R Us was, I don't know how long they were around for, but they've been there for as long as I knew. I have been had people telling me about Fish R Us all the way back when I was like in, like middle school, whenever I was first kind of starting off in the fish fish world. Now, I went there quite a few times. I mean, you know, Aquarium Co-op mentions something about how like the bigger you get, it gets a lot harder to manage the business. And a, a lot of people who get into the fish world are really, they're, they're pet people, you know, they're not business people. And you know, I, maybe a little bit of that was going on. I, I mean, I'm not saying that, that they weren't professional because you know, they, they, they ran a good shop for a very long time, but you could just tell that like stuff was getting a little tougher for them. They weren't always in the best of moods, uh, which was probably just exhaustion, most likely. Um, but uh, Fisher Us is gone now. It's MQ Aquatics. So we're heading over there right now. The idea today, I don't know if we're going to get one, maybe two fish. I don't know if I want to start off with a geophagus, because the goal is to do geophagus, angelfish, and silver dollars. I, I miss my red hooks a lot. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna start off with, but overall, the primary thing that I want to do today is just to get something in the tank to kind of get the, you know, the ecosystem rolling. Um, start getting things kind of in the works, bacteria growth, things like that. Uh, so we're gonna check out MQ Aquatics, see what they got. One of these days, we're gonna head over to Fish Gallery, which is another one of those premier uh, fish pet stores in the Houston area. Uh, fish Gallery is fantastic. Honestly, I love that place. They got a ton of supplies. Not the biggest selection of fish, but the fish they do have are healthy, very healthy, and they're usually a pretty good size to start off too. So we'll go to Fish Gallery at some point. Uh, I'm not gonna film inside of MQ Aquatics because back when it was Fish R Us, they said no filming. I'm also not gonna, I just, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not very comfortable filming. And, I don't know, it just feels weird to me. Um, so, like, right, right now I'm in the truck filming, but it's just me and Vivian, I, you know, so I don't feel weird. Um, but at the bare minimum, I will show you what the building looks like, uh, and as soon as we get out, I'll show you what we got. When we get back, we'll get the bag inside of the uh, tank, and I'll film that process so we can make sure that we uh, we see what the what the fish feels like when it goes into its new home. But I'm very excited about this. I mean, you know, it, it's it's kind of bittersweet. New beginnings, 100%. Uh, we had Hurricane Barrel come through about two months ago, and I lost power at the house for about 10 days. It was it was devastating for me. I lost. I lost a lot of fish. My probably my most beautiful fish that I ever had was my uh, was my green terror. Um, he was gorgeous. He was oh my god, he was amazing. Uh, I also had some wild caught red hook silver dollars that were by far my favorite fish I've ever had. Um, just just to keep. I mean, I love silver dollars in general, but I had a few. I you know I had a lot more than that. I didn't just have those fish, but I lost a lot of fish that meant a lot to me. Um, buried them in the backyard. It was soul crushing. It was. It hurts. It, it you know you, when you start over fresh, it, it's it's bittersweet because I have a blank slate. I can I can do whatever I want right now. I I know exactly what I want to do, but you know it's 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 cool to start over. It's exciting to start over, but. You know, losing pets that you care about. I had those fish for about nine, seven, eight years. It hurts. It, it hurts. But yeah, we're moving on. We're, we're going. We're going forward with the future. Hopefully, this is going to be the start of uh, some angelfish breeding. 
uh, I, I've, I've kind of made that decision that I want to actually get into the world of, uh, of, of you know, the industry, I guess, in some ways. So this hopefully is the start of a very good new beginning. Um, but uh, yeah, here is MQ Aquatics. Aquatics coming up right here. We're gonna go ahead and head on into that. Yep, this is where we're going. Yeah. Is that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, let's go on in. Okay. A little disappointing. So. MQ Coax has nothing in there right now. I would say they're using maybe 30% of the tanks that they actually have. I didn't look at their saltwater section because I don't I don't do saltwater. But they don't have a lot of stuff right now. I did talk to them about a partnership with because I'm gonna start breeding the angelfish, uh, and he told me it's a pretty straightforward process. So once I get my angelfish going. I have somewhere where I can bring them and they'll sell them. So, you know, I, I'm I'm not expecting to sell them, you know, store credit and everything, but that's a start. So six to 10 months, hopefully we got some fry coming along, we can bring over to these guys. Now, because they don't have anything here, um, and Vivian was not happy with that, <laughs> they do have stuff, it's just nothing I want at all. We are gonna go to Fish Gallery. So you guys are gonna get to see the Fish Gallery building. So we're gonna head on over there right now. So after talking with uh, one of the guys inside of there, I don't know if I should use names or not. They didn't say anything bad. Uh, so basically I talked to the, uh, I talked to Bradley. <laughs> I talked to Bradley. Yeah, we talked to Bradley. And uh, basically Bradley and the new manager took over in June, 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 in June is what he was saying. Um, it doesn't sound like the the buy off about a year ago from Fish R Us. It doesn't sound like the new MQ Aquatics people managed it appropriately. Is is what it sounds like. Um, so as a result, it sounds like they're having to kind of revamp some stuff. That he was literally in the middle of. I'm not gonna say like he was renovating while I was there, but but they were in the middle of renovations. You could tell they're in the middle of redoing the whole building. So you can tell they were in the middle of, of renovations. He said, don't count them out. He, he said, just give them a little bit of time. Apparently they have a very successful store at Virginia Beach um, and they're trying to replicate that here, which I, they can do 100%, great market. Yes. I will go McDonald's. No. Be a parent. <laughs> so anyways, Bradley said don't count them out. Uh, they got some shipments coming in this weekend. I might come by and check it out and everything. But at the bare minimum, I, I, got, I got the information for what I would need to do uh, to get the whole in-store credit and everything going for all that. It says very informal. They would love to have somebody to work with. Uh, so it sounds like they're trying to develop relationships and uh, and become part of the community So I have a feeling that the come up for MQ Aquatics is going to be strong and we're gonna see Not only are we gonna monitor that. Let's see if we can have a hand in that It'd Be pretty cool. So all right, we're heading over to fish gallery Okay <clears throat> We are pulling up into fish gallery right now and There she is right there Say they knocked down a couple trees, probably stuff that broke during the hurricane, if I had to guess, but uh, we're here. All right, so we got two long fin bristle nose and we got one royal placo. So I think it's the best fish to start off with, honestly, because nobody has geophagus, nobody has. Uh, Really, honestly, what I'm looking for at all, I didn't see any silver dollars at either Fish Gallery or MQ Aquatics. I don't want to go to Petco because disease, always. Um, not that they probably get the same, honestly, they probably get from the same place. But the tank just got set up anyways. So we're going to take these fish home. 
We're going to set the bags in the tank, start letting the uh, temperature start getting acclimated. We will release them later on tonight, and we'll go from there. So, you excited, Vivian? Yes. All right. You excited about the fish you got right now, huh? Yes. All right. Let's see. We, we even zoomed in. Yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. All right. What do you got right now? What do you got right now? A fishy. You got a fishy? All right. Let's take it home. You ready? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take it home. Okay. So basically, we've got a Royal Placo. We've also got ourselves two long fin bristle nose. It's a great start to the new tank. I'm really looking forward to what we're going to turn this into. These guys are released inside of the tank now. They're all three doing pretty solid. They all three seem pretty happy. So I, we're looking at maybe at least a week. And then we will go... I'm going to have to start searching because since nobody had any geophagus and I didn't see any silver dollars, just that alone kind of worries me a little bit. So I might have to Im like order what I want. But... Um, we're kicking everything off pretty well with the new tank. So if you just want to stick around, follow how we're doing with this, um, I will make sure to document all of the beginnings of the breeding I'm going to be doing and also just kind of the overall development of the tank as we go. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you didn't like. Thank you guys. Have a good day.